<laughs> yeah, it's going to work this time. Taking a bit easy today. I've not been on my bike all week. I uh, didn't go anywhere yesterday. So uh, just trying to take it a little bit easy. channel this time this one is the Eureka it's a 200 kilometer by ride from Cheagle near Stockport in Manchester and as you can see it's raining and it's not like a time back so it's wide because I've not done a lot of research I've left on height that's the close Nice route, nice flat, not too many hills, I'm off. And that's how it materialised really. What's also strange is, some of this route is familiar to me when I went to uh, North Wales the other week. Completely by chance though. forecast here in the UK. Today's so it's going to be dry all day. We've got the worst rain possible. Drizzle. This is a, this, I'm sorry, you were Brandon. What, what is it showing me? This, this is the British Cycle Quest. It's run by the CTC, or Cycle UK. 
402 locations around the UK. So the, the ones in green I've visited, um, as, and the other ones that you can see are, are yet to visit. The idea is you visit all the locations by preferably, by, well, by bike, obviously. And uh, there's no stipulation about when you can do it. So I'm going to do sort of a 10 year project, you know, you know over yeah. the next 10 years. So this year I've, I've done about 40 locations. Which is like you've done Norfolk there. Uh, Norfolk or Suffolk, I, I the Wash area. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, it's hard to tell. So we, we picked this, this was heading over to, oh, this is, yeah. yeah, so we went to Lincoln. I also was telling you earlier that we yeah, went to Spilsby. Yeah. So if we, if we go now into Spilsby, there's uh, my friend John. Happens to be with us. There's, there's my good friend John, who's also questing. And this is us in Spilsby at the statue of Sir John Franklin. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. So what we are, uh, what we are all ordering? We have so I'm, I'm yeah. ready for breakfast time. So we're stuck in cafe fresh. And done them on the hill. Just so we've gone through Frodsman Hellsby, about 50 k. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a great time to uh, do, do a enjoy breakfast. a bit of breakfast. Yeah, we did. Yeah, have a veg, veg breakfast. Caroline sat next to me. Yeah, please. Yeah, give, give the camera a wave. Right, I'm asking everybody if they can do a Eureka. Yeah. Well. The exclamation mark. Nice. There we go. <laughs> He's just got out of the car. I don't think he has. Hello, how are you? I'm recording uh, people saying Eureka today as well. Uh, so, but it's got an exclamation mark at the end, so you have to say it like. Eureka! That's it. That's the one. So then I'm going to remix all the Eurekas together and make a dance track out of it. So I've just arrived at the uh, first control point, Eureka. I had some breakfast earlier, so I just quickly dashed in. So uh, be off again in a minute or two. The weather's great into Caroline. Lovely, yeah. yeah, it's really nice. Apparently, this is one of the. Uh, Oldest bike cafes in in the world, according to Brandon. Yeah, must be true. You heard it here first. As you can see, it's brightening up a little bit now. Just come out of the Eureka Cafe. Quick in out. Got both cars signed. In and out in less than two minutes. Happy days. I'm really a bit thick about that. Well, these are my glasses. I must have put them somewhere. Well, perhaps somebody else will make good use of them. You've had them for a while. What is it? it it's not so much that, but I, I, I like to look after my kiss. Yeah. And uh, um, it's not the, the uh, monetary value, it's the fact that it's something that I need uh, to stop. Yeah. Crap in your eyes, yeah. Although I'm sure we've both been out on days and forgot the glasses as well. Yeah. And then uh, either got on the road a little bit and turned around and come back or just kept going. I know I said the out, yeah, it, it's, yeah, very annoying, John. So I forgot about this road, Brandon. Yes, definitely, yes. There are no councillors living down here. <laughs> councillors? No councillors living down here. <laughs> and that's how it works, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Got left here. Left. 
So we've got to skip and hop across the motorway here. I've not done that yet, got on the train. Yeah. yeah. My biggest concern is can you get the bike on the, on the train? That's my always my concern. Am I, am I worrying too much? Well, if you don't Virgin, you've got to put your bike on. Yeah. But they have the carriage and you hang them. They're quite well organised. Yeah. Uh, you just take your chance. There you go, nice 2k. Just coming up. I say just coming up. It's about 10k from the next uh, control stop, which is in the uh, Welsh town of Bangor. As you can see, the uh, the weather's turned out fantastic now. Perfect autumn weather. I'm just going to do my best uh, Adam Watkins impression as we pass through this small town or village. We're going through Laverstock. That's crap. Do you sound well? <laughs> I told you it was uh, like a, a fog all the way along here. It takes you all the way down to, to Whitchurch. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. What's those hills over there then? Do we know? Have they got, have they got a name? They're just the Sandstone Bridge. Yeah. It's a great view from not much of a height, isn't it? It's quite open. Yeah. One big wave, it'd clear it all out, wouldn't it? What's this? Bangor upon D? Bangor on D. So if you cast your mind back, Richard, earlier on we went... Uh, Round Chester, yeah. We showed you a big square building with a with a red line on the top. Oh yeah. And then we went. To, then we went over. Yeah. The Handbridge, and you had the the big Airbus factory on the right. Yes. Yeah. What river did we go over? Can you remember? The D. The River D. And this is Bangor on D. So this here is the same river. Is it? But uh, yeah. So pretty. It's lovely, isn't it? And look at that rainbow there. Oh, yeah. Perfect rainbow. Yeah, I do. Yeah. What more could you ask for? Now, uh, somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Part of A. Normally it's in like the um, played at play the Mocus and that yeah, wasn't the down, south down, west down, of it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's an airport there. So I said, oh yeah, I cycle up to the airport. And he was thinking I meant that one. I said, oh, yeah. what if one in the north? <laughs> so but, come but, back over and yeah, proper, proper to do sort of thing, you know. But then I said, oh, and the day before I said I went up uh, Church, is it? He said, oh, Churchy. I said, yeah, we go up there. You know, you know where I'm on about there. It's like with the. Oh, they were just uh, about to leave the ice cream fair. Uh, has anybody heard of such a thing? Ice cream fair. An ice cream fair. Oh, no, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you would ever put the two together and get something, to be honest. That's all the children are really fat with black teeth. Yeah. <laughs>
God, look at that sun, it's nearly going down. Yeah. When we get moving. <laughs> what is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, it's is, it, is it comfy? It's meant to be a I'm sure I'm sure it's not so. <laughs> oh sorry, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I'm, I'm sure it's not there like you go. Oh god. There you go, it is, isn't it? It's yeah. not that comfy with stuff. Yeah. Stuff stuffed into your there you pockets. Go. No. Obviously, if you're a child and you haven't got the, you, you'd be a bit low down. Yeah, but, you know. I like that. That's good yeah. fun. Hi, me with uh, John and uh, Brandon. Last control point of the day. Uh, Caroline's gone home. Uh, it's just left the two us. us. Left she us. Left She's us. left us. Abandoned us. I've been with Brandon and John all day. It's been good to uh, not bike by myself everywhere. Especially now it's turned dark as well. So what we got left? 25, 30k? Something 30, like that, Brandon, 30, not far. Yeah, 32k. 32k. What's the point in this way, is it? Right, okay. Yeah, what's the point in yeah, this way? So it'll get us both in. So we're, out, so we're out with John today. Who's, who's John? John, John, John is Mr. Organised and so far today John's lost his Brevet card, he's lost his glasses and now he's just realised he's lost a charging cable as well. So that's the hat-trick. At least you got the three. Here we are waving back at the uh, control point. And Cheadle. <sighs> so the, uh, the tale of John's missing glasses comes to a conclusion. Uh, they, were, they were picked up in. Uh, How you got them back? By another rider who put them in. The town. John. There you go, sir. Thank you. Reunited at last. <laughs> it's the stampy time. The phone cable, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Your mates just told me that. Look at your name on the back. John, go ahead. There's two more riders there, and you, you sir, are... Richard Lake. Richard Lake. Have you had a bit of a laugh, Japs? It's yeah. been a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been good, actually. Katie Cookaburra. Katie Cookaburra, she's... Yeah. she's a blogger. She's an old axe rider, does lots of vlogs online on YouTube. So I'll give it a go myself, actually. Just to show you what goes on, show other people what goes on in the world of old axe, like. You've not got me on there. Richard? I'll blur your face out if you want. Yours, sir. Oh, what soup is this then? What, what have we got here? This looks good. Ooh. Yes, please. What soup have we got? Chunky vegetable. Chunky vegetable, that sounds nice. Oh, look at you, yummy. That's it for me. Probably uh, not going to be doing any more clips today. It's, it's dark now. So, I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'll uh, consider subscribing to my channel as well. I'll uh, see you in the next one.